if you behave environmentally and socially correct, if the local community has real benefits from the projects, it actually enhances long-term profitability. Not necessarily short-term profitability, but clearly long-term profitability. And if we can get this across to the private sector, and we're getting it across more and more, I think then it's a winner for all. You know, this sort of thinking about pro-poor business is so new that, that almost no company involved in it is, is able to quantify. As I said, uh, our experience in Argentina saved the company, so that was very quantifiable. But recently, we had a contest in which we asked executives to come up with ideas, and we got over 200. We're turning 10 of those into business plans. So those are the numbers I can give you. I can't give you bottom line numbers as yet. This is the difficulty. As I said, um, until we generate some figures, some bottom line figures, it's, it's hard to explain that, that it is business. But the definition to me of sustainable livelihoods is doing business with the poor in ways that benefit the poor and benefit the company. So when we can start producing figures to show benefit to the company, then we will at least convince the public that it's not charity. We'll then have a problem probably convincing the public that it's not exploitation.